today uh, we are gonna do this try hack me room challenge zero day first of all let's open a folder i'm gonna open my tmx terminal which is a Prada machine Okay, the server is up, I guess. Let's check. Okay, the server is up, I guess. The server is up. First of all, we have to do an map. Okay, and map result is here. So there is a two port open. One is SSH running and another is HTTP. As you can see, here is the HTTP running. Um, let's uh, use GoBuster. Also, we will use Nikto. Nikto is basically website vulnerable enumeration tool. So it's gonna check if there is any vulnerability available in the web server. From the GoBuster result, we can see backup and secret. Okay, let's go there. Backup RSAP. Let's store this. I don't know if it helps. Okay, what else we got? Secret. here looks like we almost got something from the next result cgi bin test that cgi uncommon header found content screw site appears vulnerable to the shell shock vulnerability okay let's google this cv download this looks like this is the exploit we have to use let's copy this scarcity of folder make this executable let's try python 2 Payload drivers are host, tail host, airport. What is the R host? Our real host. And we are targeting this page because 
from the Nikto result it says that this location appears to vulnerable to the shell shock so that's why we include here in pages where am I okay uh, let's make this um, let's spawn a shell here home so run get user so we got our flag it was named Hints in the description. Wrote my secure website. So they are picking. And this is a very old operating system you have got here, isn't it? Okay. Let's check its operating system. So it's Ubuntu 14.04.1. So let's check it's a kernel. Linux Ubuntu 3.13. January. Search exploit. Linux 3.13. Ubuntu 14.04.1 Pablo I have to use So we have to use this Linux kernel this one HC let's see if we got GCC Uh, we got GCC version 4.8.4. So let's grab this. Start this plot. C7 to 9 to C. So it's gonna basically copy this to our folder. So we got our copy. Now we have to copy this. Uh, before that, we have to uh, convert it. Those two units. Okay, convert is done. Now we have to set up a server. Let me see. Okay, we have to let's say it's temporary. where in the slash temp file because if we try to download something in the system victim machine we can only write in this directory uh, um, let's double get Okay, it's here. Now we have to compile. This is C seven two nine two. Let's see. Okay, error trying to CC one. We have to add a standard Ubuntu path here because it's very old, so we have to inline it with it. Now if we try to run, try to compile the file again, I hope it works now. Here, 
expert well, let's run this okay i guess we are in the root system yes we are root let's go get slash root This is our root flag. So thank you everyone. I hope it helps you.